Hi everybody, it's James, and welcome back to Corby Town. We're here uh, for what you requested, which is the Champions League first knockout round draw, and the Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Everton. So, before we get into all that, let's talk about what it's been like since you've been here. Uh... Let's talk about Manchester United. It wasn't a great game. I'm not happy about it. You guys know that, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Continuing on from there, Watford following the usual stuff. Don't follow us after a game, a loss or a draw, 5-0. Brighton, 4-0. Porto played a rotated squad, 3-0. Won out our group. And then West Ham just did all of our scoring early. Gave up one in the second minute, and then that was that. So, cruising ahead in the league again. Uh, we sit, actually, it looks like Manchester United dropped some points. We sit six points ahead of Manchester United. Uh, Chelsea, Arsenal still at the play, but it's looking to be a closer league than we've ever had before. Granted, it's still early, so we never know. But it is what it is. Oh, crud. I was going to click draw, but apparently we've done the draw anyways. We've got Benfica. Who has Valencia on loan for them right now. Uh, who isn't playing. It's not a big deal. But yeah, there you go. Um, this whole big, like, oh, what is it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, I've got Oliver Skip as well. I think we've played them before. I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, Hugo Valencio has not played too many games for them. Which is fine. We're trying to get rid of him anyways. So yeah, Benfica is who we'll see next in the Champions League. I think that's a very winnable game for us. Um, uh, very winnable, in fact. So thank God for that. It's not something harder. Like, I don't know who else could it have been. Juventus. Tottenham. No, no, we couldn't have gotten Tottenham. Well, we'll have to take a look and see what the other draws are. Which is after the uh, after the spinning happens. Ah, here we go. Uh, competitions. Champions League. Leon versus Atletico Madrid. Us versus Benfica. Los versus or Lille versus Man City. Zebra versus Bayern. Oh, yeah, Benfica Porto versus Tottenham, Inter versus Paris Saint-Germain, United versus Barcelona, Monaco versus Madrid. There you go. As for the rest of this, just getting some more scouting done. Uh, Andrew Bacco is not expected to... Uh, hey, thanks. Cool. <laughs> hey, you're going to be cool? Let's be cool. Do the thing. All right, quarterfinal, Everton Cup. Let's see the team they want us to play. Uh, Aslani's going to come out for Brum because we said Brum is going to be the cup keeper. Groshi played the last game, as did Lamont. So we're going to make the change we usually make. Bauman can come off for Kopner. Bedov didn't play, so we'll take it. We'll keep him going. Gilbert, we'll put Insignia there. No, we won't put Insignia there. We will put Tommy Scribs because he wants more playing time. Uh, Brum can come off for Zia. Ulysses' deep play playmaker is fine. Brownlee can come off for Robinson. Gillette will stay. We'll bring on Hope. This is what you guys get to see the rotated squad because we're. We just played a league game, so I do need to rotate. Probably don't need to rotate as hard, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Gilbert will be on the bench. That is fine. They're fine. Donnie Jurgen is fine. Who's the other midfielder? We're putting Frankie Jong on as the other midfielder. He's back from his injury. I think that looks pretty solid. Brum, Kopner, Jebby, Costco, Bedov. I mean, that's a hell of a back line. Ulysses, Zaya, Scrivener, Hope, Robinson, and Gillette. With Jurgen, Gilbert, Brum, Frankie Diong, Groshi, and Bauman. 
on the bench and Aslani. Yeah, Betoff was suspended, so we couldn't play him. So we played Fukushima, who's trying to make me pay him a hundred thousand pounds a week to be a backup, which I said no. And now we've got Bayern and PSG sniffing around because he's a hot prospect right back. So he's a superb manager. So we're going to have to deal with that soon. Luckily, we're not close to the transfer window, and he's got about 18 months left on his contract. So I should be able to make something work out. I'm willing to pay him like that, but it was like, you know, I want 100,000 pounds and then 150,000 pounds after 25 league games. Go, well, fuck no. That's not, that's way too much money. You, that's be, you know, Gilbert gets paid 150,000 pounds a week. I think Gillette gets paid 175. You're not getting paid as John Hope scores it for the minute in. John Hope, you know, I mean, you know, they get paid a ton more money than that. And you're going to be doing that as a squad player? As a squad player? And not to mention, we have Bedov ahead of you, who is probably the best right back in the world. So, no, I don't think that's going to happen. So let's work something out. I think 92,000 for a backup right back at the age of what, 18, 19, that's how old he is, is more than reasonable. Uh, so Scrivener boots that one clear. And uh, we'll, we'll close down Gillette now, as these guys are going to kind of all flail around here. Siasco, Robinson's going to get this. Sends Gillette through. Tight angle for him. Yeah, I kind of knew that wasn't going to happen. Gillette has been more streaky with his scoring lately, um, which is fine because he's been assisting a ton too. I think it's it's not a knock on Gillette that he's not getting more goals this year. I think it's... I think it's a shows the quality in the team that everybody else is getting more. As Kyo George Brum makes a wonderful save. Oh, I mean, put someone to seven point As you know, it's just quality enough in the team here. I don't get that flick on Gillette. I never get that flick on. Um, there's just quality in the team that allows him to do that. I mean, you got Gilbert who's on like twelve goals. Gillette's on thirteen or fourteen. Um, Brownlee's on like eight. I think even like Brum has like five or six. Carnival has three. There's goals coming from everyone on the team. Groshi has seven from center back. And he's just like, that's just because he just gets targeted on corners and just, just scores. That's what he does. So we've got good team players all around so i'm willing to say yeah gillette may not win the golden boot he may not be the ballon d'or this year but he did it he, he single-handedly carried the team for a couple years as a sole scorer so if he needs to drop back and be a little bit more of a distributor that's absolutely fine robinson comes in here hope tries to put his lashes it lashes his his laces through it ulysses scrivener has Kopner. get that cross in there hope will head it and see, that's the other thing, too. We're, we're moving that advanced playmaker into the box now. They're kind of trailing it. I'd like, I really would like to have him be arrives late into the box. And maybe that's a trait I'll have to work on. But Gillette's still getting his goals. He's still getting his assists. He's getting more assists than I think I've seen him do here. He's, more, he's definitely facilitates and creates. And he doesn't just turn and make snap shots either. As their ball's in, is headed away by Jebby, Glazer to Caltino. Glazer is picked pocket by Scribs, who gets tackled here. Ulysses isn't going to be able to get on the drop ball here. As they now hump it forward. Gillette, Hope, Zaya, Gillette. And oh Scrivener. This is sliding in. See so once again, he he could have turned and shot. And I think I have him on shoot more. We'll have to look at his instructions here. Shoot more often, hold up the ball, dribble more, take more risks, get further forward, move in the channels, roam from position. So that's what he does. He he does everything. As Gillette is here in 14th goal of the season. We you know we you, you speak his name and he shall appear. What happened? There's <laughs> no assist now for this. I want to see exactly what happens. Oh, it's just a bad pass, and Gillette takes the opportunity, goes byline with it. And then just beats the keeper by, just beats the keeper near post. That's what he does. So ladies and gentlemen, Yannick Gillette. You talk about him, you say things, and then he scores a goal like that. 
in a game where we don't have the majority of the possession, but we have our shots, putting our shots on chance, putting shots on chance and shots on chumps means exactly that. You score goals. As it is looking very nice for us right now. Uh, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> I'm very happy with the game and how it's going. Uh, Kopner, I mean, you know, good, good play from all around. Uh, I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. Can we... No, we're not making a change just yet. We'll just go right into the second half. And we've got... And the nice thing, too, I, I liked the fact that we've sold a ton of players this year. Like, we've trimmed the squad down. It's still a bloated squad. We still have a lot of players. But at least, like, we're playing a lot of players. Scrivener is kind of an, a weird one where we use him a lot, but he wants to be a regular starter. And we just have Gilbert, who's just... Scrivener on steroids. We've got Kopner, who's a, been a wonderful servant and a great left back, but now we've got Silvar, who we can probably look to move on, but he's also a left-footed center back, left back who can kind of play, and we've also got um, Bauman now, who is actually a little bit better as Kopner sends it in there to Robinson, who scores. Bauman, who now is a is challenging Kopner for minutes in, the, in starting position and is also English, which is obviously that's something we want to look to do, make sure we're developing, bringing in more English talent since our youth intakes have been sketchy. And even say the, this one, they said that coming up has got a lot of good wingers, got a lot of good fullbacks, but not to expect much from it. We haven't had really a star player come through our youth system. Not since I think Adam Watts. Uh, Wattsy was probably the best player we produced. And, uh, uh oh, they're going to have problems here. As Yannick is on it. Doesn't have a lot of support. Almost doesn't matter anyways. As he's blowing through here. Has Robinson scored two? No, he's only scored one. Ah, but he's on... He's on corner kick duty. That's why he's getting... As many points... Uh, as high a rating as he is. Uh, do we make changes now? Not yet. We let this one... After this highlight, we'll make some changes. Scrivs gets m muscled off the ball here. He is chasing this guy down. Solarte to Lucas to Collins. Good. Out here from Gillette. And... Oh! That's, that's a little unfortunate for Yannick, but... Not a huge deal. Let's pull him off. Let's bring Jurgen on. Oh, I don't want Gilbert. I want Jurgen. Uh, other changes. Let's take Ulysses off for De Jong. And I'm fine with that. De Jong hasn't been getting much game time. I did I did sign him and say, you are going to be a squad player. Might as well actually fulfill his contract needs. Uh, Ashanto is injured. That's not my player. Hope is exhausted. Uh, do it. And I'll do this. Gilbert is a good... Can he play as a good advance forward? Yeah. There you go. Confirm those changes. Scrivs is exhausted. How many... Oh, I've already made my three changes. That's fine. Uh, we will just go down to balance then. Because that's less intense. Kopner just hoofs it long. Gilbert heads it. Uh, the keeper doesn't know what he's doing. Everybody in La La Land there and Gilbert, Johnny on the spot. <laughs> what was going on there? Gilbert flicks it. The keeper doesn't know how to go for it. It's not. He's like waiting for it to roll in. It doesn't. Gilbert just out sprints everybody <laughs> to the ball and slots it in. Instant impact off the bench from Gilbert playing in that striker slot. Uh, him and, uh, oh, they have an injury and they've already made all their subs. And so now they're playing down a man. Ah, oh, that makes some sense now. The yeah, Everton have just not been playing well. I guess Hope must be enjoy playing against these guys because he was with them for a while. But I guess at the same time, he's been more our player than their player for a long... I think he's been with us longer and played more games. Zia, nice little pick there. Betoff is going to hump it forward. Jurgen 
good faux turn. He's got the pass if he wants to pull this across. And he does. Scribs. Oh my god, I just realized something. We didn't play the song! I know you're all probably sitting there screaming at your screens. James, he scored and you didn't, you didn't play the song. Listen, I will, I will play the song at the end when we do the recap of the, of the goals. So don't worry. As, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a little bit. Ooh, Kopner with a 9.0 there. And we've got goals from Jean Hope Scrivener. Robinson and Gilbert. Very happy with the way you played. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. And uh, it looks like one of the next people we're going to be playing is either... It's going to be Sheffield United won their match. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Win the quarterfinal. Praise. Yay. Good defensive work. Tottenham watching Scrivener. Tottenham have been watching Scrivener for years. If they want to put a bid in, I'd be happy to take a look at it. But I don't want anything less than 80, 80 million pounds for the guy. That's what I want. 80 million is yours. He's an English left winger. Those come at a premium. Those come at a very much premium. Because I'm losing an England slot and I'm losing a homegrown player slot. So... That's what they need to get. Uh, De Jong and Scrivener being upset. I really don't care that Pepe did that because eh, they're not starters. They're not even influential. Pepe, those are people. All right, let's see who we get in the semifinal. Uh, we know one of them could be Sheffield United. We don't know who the other games are because, to be honest, we didn't look and we didn't pay attention. So, uh, yeah. And I'm going to end this once again with a question to you guys. Um, my question is, now that we've talked about games and what you guys want to see next, what you don't want to see next, how long do you want this series to go? I mean, we are, I'm, not, I'm not saying that we're at an end game, and it's not like I'm not having fun playing this. We know that I'm enjoying uh, this. I'm still enjoying the hell out of the save. But I want to see how long do you guys want me to go? Do you guys want it to be this season, next season, depending on what we win trophy-wise, between what we win silverware-wise? And like all, what I will do is whatever we decide is the end of the season or the end of the save, there will be then a video that comes out that talks about where we're, what happened with the team, like a year after we left, five years after we left, and then maybe 10 years after we left. We can kind of look at when I leave, what happens to Corby Town? He's expecting more playing time still. He doesn't think he's... He's happy at the club, though. Uh, expecting more playing time than he's receiving. What's his happiness? He is a squad player. We'll work on that. That's an interesting proposal. It's a center back from Northern Ireland. So the draw should be today. Fukushima, can I... Can't offer you a contract still. Okay. Chelsea, Arsenal, or Sheffield United? Well, we all know what team we want. It's not Arsenal. <laughs> Fuck it. It's always Arsenal. What? Interesting. Did they? Not a lot of people out. Not a lot of money in. Frank. I still can't believe Frank Lampart. Senior squad. This guy has scored so many damn goals against me. I am half willing to just buy him and and make him a squad player so that I don't have to deal with him anymore. Granted, he also has 72 caps and 81 goals for Holland. So he's not a bad player. Runs the ball through the center, moves through the channels. The official knocks the ball at basketball. And he's got some good, good stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Arsenal, Arsenal. 
that sounds like a lot of fun there. So when will we be back? Well, I'm not going to play Bortmouth on screen. I mean, these guys are, we'll give you guys some cup action. Brighton, the FA Cup, and the Arsenal <laughs> Arsenal in the uh, Carabao Cup first leg for the semifinal. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Remember, want to know, when do you want to see the series end? I'm going to ask you in every couple of the next couple of videos as we keep playing through the save. So don't feel like you have to comment here, but you can if you want to. I'd like that. Uh, that all being said, I've been James. You've been you. This has been Corby Town. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.